Hello, hello, Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick Dollar Tree haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, please be sure to stay tuned. Again, thank you so much for sticking with me today. I know normally I do my Dollar Tree hauls on camera, but I got to get this hair did, so I'm not. <laughs> I don't want the uh, YouTube haters to come after me. So I'm going to just do it this way and hope that it works out successfully. So today's haul is actually from, I've had this stuff for quite a while, but yeah haven't been able to get around to this video so i decided to go ahead and get to it today before the season's over and then some of the stuff is irrelevant so one of the things i found is this super cute led hanging lamp i just absolutely loved it i'm wishing i would have gotten more because i only purchased one and now i'm super sad about that but i think it'll be super cute so i'm working on coming up with a project for it in my mind so that I can do a DIY with it and hopefully the light actually works because of course your girl didn't test it. Another thing I found was this super cute red truck. I love the red trucks for Christmas. I usually do like a buffalo plaid type theme so the red truck obviously just goes very well and this was super cute because it has a little light on the inside. I don't know if the camera actually is picking that up or not, but the light does change colors, which I thought was really cool. So it'll just look really cute in the house for your Christmas decor. Another item I purchased were these adorable little mini stockings in the buffalo plaid. I like the little like faux fur material at the top. And I also purchased the big one to match. And this is just the full size stocking with the faux fur at the top. The little ones I actually have been hanging on my tree. And then the big ones, obviously, I hang up for the family. So, um, yeah, super cute. Kind of keeping with Christmas. I found this super cute um, box here from Santa for the North Pole. Um, it doesn't open, close very well, which I just noticed that. Um, but I think with a little tape on it, it'll be fine. I plan on putting my son's Christmas present in here. So um, it'll be super cute. And then I know these are pretty old. They've had these usually every year, but I thought this one was very cute. I have planned on covering it with some like buffalo plaid paper um, just to kind of go along with the theme and then any Christmas cards that we receive you know can go inside this little mailbox because and I just thought it was super cute and it'd be cute on the table of my DIY type things I found these glue dots which I absolutely love glue dots they are so good for just sticking things together without having to pull out your adhesive runner or even some regular glue so if you have not tried glue dots, be sure to go and pick some up. I really, really, really like them for cars, especially um, when you're gluing on those smaller pieces to things. These work perfectly. Something else I'm thinking about using for DIYs is they have these new like floating frames. This is the 8x10 frame and I love that it has no outline. So I think it'll be really pretty with some um, of my son's artwork potentially or just some other art piece that I come up with. I haven't decided what I'm going to use it for yet, but I thought it was really cool to have like a frameless frame. Found these washable felt tip pins, um, which I'm kind of curious to see how they work. Um, if you have not seen, I just started bullet journaling, so be sure to check that. I'll leave it in the cards above. But I'm curious to see if these will work in my bullet journal. I'm always trying to find new materials and markers that I can use in there. 
that I think would be really cool. So, and we all know that Crayola is a really good brand. Um, these are saying washable felt tip markers. So, I'll be curious to see how well they work. But they came in these two packs with the blue and the darker blue, and then there's the purple and the green, and then this one has pink and red. So, if I see more, um, I'll definitely go and try to pick them up. This I thought was really cute. Pet sleeve paw prints on your heart. I do not have a pet, so I will be able to um, hopefully get these words off with some acetate. But if not, then I will cover up these words with something else. But I just thought this was a really cute like shadow box frame. Um, I love the faux like wood background. And I'm really hoping that acetate will take these words off for me. Um, just so that I can put some other decor on it. And I even love that it's already in the white. Um, again, like a faux wood type design. So I thought it was really cool. And then these, I also really like. These are also like shadow boxes, but they're, um, you know, like the seamless or whatever. So I thought that was really cool. Monday should be optional, facts, especially when you work on Mondays. Um, but again, I'm hoping that I can wipe these words off, especially. But if not, then it's still super cool. And I'll just hang them up in, um, you know, my office space or whatever. And then this one I love, coffee and other vitamin C. I do have a small coffee jar in my kitchen that one day I would love to be able to expand. So I did think that this one would be really a cute addition for that and i'm like when things are a dollar you can't beat it you just take them and you can store them for later if you need to these beautiful frames these are the three and a half by five um wood frames i thought they were absolutely gorgeous with these i plan on attempting to make one of those boxes because i think a photo box would be really cool I can take some pictures from um, our wedding and just put one in each frame and then make the little box to keep on the desk. So that is what I plan on using these for. So be on the lookout for a DIY. Also, the leaves in this I think are absolutely gorgeous. I wish they would stop putting these. I mean, I know you have to say what sign it is, what size it is rather. But man, if they could make that a sticker. That would be fantastic because in real life you could just leave this in the frame <laughs> just as it is and i think it would be absolutely beautiful these leaves are so perfect to me here's another this one is more of a bank it says invest in yourself i thought this one was really cute because it looks like a house and buying a house is one of the things that my husband and i would like to do within the next couple years so i just like this and i think it'll serve as a little reminder um to you know continue to save for that purchase so i thought this was really cute and then here's another little frame it's a camera which i thought was absolutely precious um <clears throat> i really like the shape of it and the idea of it not so much the colors so the only thing on this i'll probably change is some of the paint um and just make it a different color but i thought it was really cool i do kind of wish it had one of the um easel backs so that you know it'll stand up it will stand up by itself but you know sometimes when you bump things they fall over so the easel back kind of keeps it from doing that but that's okay it's super cute anyway and another little shadow box coffee cash so cute if you know me you know i have an extreme starbucks cup addiction <laughs> I don't want to say addiction. It is a collection. <laughs> and so um, I thought this would be really cute to pretend like I'm going to save money for my cups when in reality I just add money to my card and go get them. Um, so by the way, there's a release coming out January 5th in most stores. So be sure to go check that out. I know I will be out in them Starbucks streets around four o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> that's how I roll. Um, but anywho, I really thought this was cute. I love the silver. 
Um, it's so shiny and pretty. And then I like the little coffee cups in the back. What I would probably do for this, just to add a little more excitement is put like a vellum coffee cup on the front or even kind of remake those and then just kind of pop them up a little bit just so it has a little bit more depth and dimension to it but really it could just stay as it is because it is adorable all right and then these i thought were super cute obviously i am not into the whole farm real farm i like the farmhouse look <laughs> but i do not have uh any farm to table type and that's just not in me i'm a city girl so but i thought these were really cute and i figured they would make super cute either like i could do like a floating shelf type thing or um you know even just relabel these tops with something else and then put like pictures on the inside so still trying to decide what i would like to do with this as well but stay on the lookout for how i turn these super cute little shadow boxes i guess into something that fits a little bit more into my home scheme i don't know what category these would fall in but they're not crafty <laughs> so liquid skin i don't know obviously if this works but i'm curious to try sometimes a band-aid is just not conducive to my lifestyle <laughs> um and so i'm kind of hoping that this will work the same as a band-aid um i've tried liquid skin before i just don't remember which brand it was so i'm hoping that this will be um this will work for me um and then i was watching one of bargain bethany videos and she mentioned this facial brush and how it's really good for cleaning in those tight spots in your house so i went ahead and picked one up i will not be using it for my face i will be using it for cleaning but i was happy to find one because apparently at her stores they are gone so i was happy i went ahead and grabbed one now i'm kind of wishing i would have gotten two just in case but you know we'll see i'll see if i can find one between me and my bestie simply shante renee follow her on youtube as well typically she can find anything <laughs> Um, and then they have these little shower fizzies. It says aromatherapy um, shower fizzies and they're eucalyptus and spearmint and it comes in a full pack. So um, this is supposed to turn your shower into a relaxing aromatherapy experience. <laughs> so I just thought this would be cool. I um, am not a huge bath person, but obviously I do love a good shower. So, you know, figured why not have a spa shower experience? So we'll see if these work. I figured yeah, it is a dollar. It does hurt to try it out. And then the last thing I picked up, which I'm going to be using today, is this John Frieda Wonder Drops hair mask. It's a damage repairing um, with vitamin E oil. So I am going to be using this in today's episode of trying to fix brandy's hair um because with the weight loss surgery i have noticed that you know i am losing some hair which is a very common um side effect so <clears throat> excuse me i've been trying to come up with things that will help you know stimulate growth and repair any damage that i may have um so lots of vitamins and good shampoos and hair growth oils and all of those things to prevent as much hair loss as possible so yeah that is all that i have for you today thank you so much for tuning in for this haul i hope you saw something that you would be willing to go and check your dollar trees for thank you again for watching and as always have a good day friends goodbye